This ITV News at the High Court. Well, in the middle of the inquiry, James Murdoch has given up his role in running the British Murdoch newspapers, The Sun, The Times and The Sunday Times. He's resigned as a director of the companies which publish them. Geraint Vincent looks now at what it means for the Murdoch Empire. In the Murdoch Empire, he was the rising star. He may still be the heir apparent, but it's been an extremely difficult year for James Murdoch. He spent much of it saying sorry for the wrongdoing in the organisation he runs and then trying to convince people that he didn't know it was happening. We now learn that he's resigned from the companies which run the Murdoch newspapers. There's a, there was a lot of, there's a lot of supposition and would have known and might have known. And there was no public announcement, but Mr Murdoch actually stepped down two months ago, before his second appearance in front of MPs to answer questions about phone hacking. He was rarely ruffled in Parliament, but the fact that he was there at all was damaging enough for the company name. I think the Parliamentary Select Committee have made it clear they're not happy with James Murdoch's explanations, although they don't think he's being mendacious in any way. It's just that they can't really understand how a person in charge of an organisation like News International is not in touch with a detail. But uh, I think we have to read into this that... that it was damaging the Murdoch family and you know, the Murdoch family reputation in businesses worldwide. The resignation will fuel speculation that News Corp is ultimately planning to abandon all of its newspaper interests in the UK in an attempt to stop the hacking scandal from damaging the company any further. We're still learning about the extent of the phone hacking scandal and we're a long way from learning what all of its consequences will be. But for the first time in more than 40 years, there are now no members of the Murdoch family involved in the day-to-day -day operations of a British newspaper. Rupert